So today I'm going to go over how I incorporated Dante networking into my studio. Um, just to give you a little bit of background on me, uh, Originally, when I started putting my studio to get together many years ago, uh, I started off with a Mackie mixer, a 16 channel mixer. And from there, I had that for a very long time. And then from there, I moved into, I moved up to a, a Behringer, a 12 channel mixer, all analog. And then I wanted to get into the digital world. So I bought a, um, a Behringer uh, Air, X Air uh, mixer. Um, and I had that for a number of years and, uh, as the years moved on, um, I wanted to, uh, have less and less analog cabling in my studio. Um, I wanted less cables cause I didn't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of gear. So I wanted less cables, uh, cause I wanted things to look real nice. Um, so I did that for a number of years, scaled things down, sold off a lot of, uh, equipment um, cause I just don't need it. And so eventually I decided I wanted to learn more about Dante. Um, it's very expensive in terms of the hardware. Uh, but when they came out with the adapters, I thought this may be a good opportunity to, um, to get in on the Dante, uh, network audio, um, world. So I did. And so I put together this uh, free form uh, document here and I'm going to walk you through. Uh, I actually put this together before I purchased anything, just so I just so I, I, I had an understanding of what I needed to buy and how I wanted things to be connected. So <clears throat> before we get started, I'm just going to show you this uh, little uh, guide here, a little legend. Uh, the, any blue wires would be a network cabling, any green wires would be your analog cabling. Um, I don't have any orange or red wires in this example here. Okay. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. I take that back. I do have a USB. So any orange wires would be a USB cable. So I do have one. Uh, so let's start with uh, the Dante Via program. So when you get into the Dante world, if you have any USB devices that you want to keep um, or that you that, that are a part of your studio setup, uh, any software, any DAWs that you may be using, um, all that audio is going to get routed to Dante via. And from Dante via, you can send that to your Dante network. So I have an M audio device, which I use for monitoring audio for my hybrid drum kit and also connecting uh, the modules to the computer because it has three USB ports here. Um, so all that, all that audio is being routed to the Dante via. Okay. Um, let's see what else. So we're going to start with the input. So in order to, to make this happen, I, I, I went out and purchased two Dante input devices. Okay. Now the first one, is handling audio from this mixer here. Very inexpensive, uh, low noise mixer. So this this Dante input device is handling uh, all the audio coming from this mixer. And that audio would be uh, anything going to my uh, coming from my DJ equipment, and also any audio coming from my uh, MPC X device. Okay, so that. That audio is uh, coming through the mixer and from the mixer, it's going to my uh, Dante input device. And from here, I'm sending that information uh, via network to my switch. Okay. Then we also have another uh, Dante input device. This one is handling audio from my Apple TV. Um, it's handling audio from my Moog miniature minotaur and uh it's also handling audio from this um this kvm switch which i which i have my computer connected to so it's handling all the audio from here so all that audio is being routed to this uh mixer and from there it's going to my dante input device 
and from my input device is connected to my network. So we have three input, we have audio coming from three different sources. You have this one here, this one here, but then you also have Dante via, which is also input source. Okay. Now for every input uh, device you have in your Dante network, you need an output. So I had to purchase three different Dante output adapters, right? And again, I did all, I did all this because I didn't want to buy a huge mixer, huge Dante mixer, which I, I, I could have done, would have eliminated a lot of this, but I wanted to keep the cost down. And, and again, I don't want to have a lot of analog cabling. I don't want to have unnecessary gear. Um, so this, for me, this was a, um, this was a, uh, the best option. So let's break down um, each individual uh, output device. So as you can see, I have it color coded so I know where the audio is being routed. So I know this audio here is being routed to this output source, okay? And so on and so forth. This audio here, right, is being routed to this one, okay? And then Dante Via audio is being routed to this one. So all these, uh, these five uh, Dante adapters are all connected to my switch. This is a pretty old switch. I've had it for at least five years now. Um, it's a great switch. It works just fine. Uh, this side it has 16 ports. Uh, this, uh, this eight, these eight ports here are PoE ports. They're always on. This is an unmanaged switch, by the way. And then these ports over here are uh, just your standard uh, 1G ports, okay? And so once that audio um, gets, gets uh, routed to the, uh, you know, from the switch, uh, it needs to output somewhere. So now I already had a Behringer mixer splitter device. This is an Ultralink Pro. I already had this device. So I'm taking the audio from my uh, Dante output devices and I'm sending them to this mixer here. Okay. Uh, so this is channel one, two, and three. Now I have five speakers in my studio. All right. So one thing I like about the Ultralink Pro device is that you can use this, you can use this device as a mixer or a splitter. So I purchased another one, right? Initially, I was going to go out and buy a speaker management device, but again, trying to keep costs down, I don't really need a lot of the features that come with the uh, speaker management devices. So I bought another Ultralink Pro. This Ultralink Pro is used as a speaker management device. So it's sending, so uh, once my audio gets routed to this mixer here, it's going to come out, channels left and right. I'm gonna send it here, and from here, I can connect each speaker up to a channel. Okay, so channel one, two, three, four, that's gonna handle these speakers here, and then my sub is gonna handle the audio coming from uh, this device here. Okay, and that's pretty much the entire setup. Uh, again, um, uh, it's, it's very low cost setup. Um, my goal here was to learn more about Dante, uh, see how reliable it is, see what the sound quality is like. Essentially what I'm doing here is I'm using my Apple Mac mini as my mixer, right? Mixing all the audio in the digital world, combining. And I'm also using my switch here. The switch sort of brings everything together. I use the, uh, the Dante, I use my Apple computer to sort of manage everything. So I have Dante Via running. I also have the Dante controller running here, uh, but I'm able to send audio uh, uh, from these devices to these devices very easily. So all in all, this is a great setup. I'm loving it so far and I, I haven't had any issues. The only issue that I do run into time from time is that I have to restart the switch. Uh, sometimes uh, when I turn on the computer, uh, audio doesn't get routed there. Oh, I find that sometimes when I turn on the computer, I find that the audio isn't routed where it needs to go. Um, and that could be an update 
that needs to take place or it could be for various reasons, but it doesn't take long to resolve the issue. Normally a simple restart or switch will uh, reconnect everything. Uh, but other than that, it's a pretty reliable system here. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.